could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's just take a look. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? He's dead. Oh, God. Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like... Scott? Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, 
So what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Quick. Gotta find everything Lorne and I touched since we came in here. Almost finished. I'm running out of time. Gotta move faster. Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. That's it. We're done. You get out of Prince? what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage. You'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Where are we going? 
taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. <sighs> this isn't a game, Lord. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my sense killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Laura! It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. You miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Go? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? I'm going to blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dog? You're going to be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Oh, man. Will you stop fucking moving? Whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. 
I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. I'm a father too, but I have no choice. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad, be careful. Okay. I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Oh, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal.
I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? It's a tight neighborhood. People talk. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Gotta find something. Nosy little ferret. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on.
was my stinger. He had come to the senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold up. Here's my stinger. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you, in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, sir. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We are in humble flock to walk in this St. John said. Thanks a lot, but I don't need it. It does not mean to bother the most times of violence and hate. Holy Scripture will bring you peace and peace.
goddamn rain soaking wet. Super Troops came. Got it in my pocket. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, we're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Twenty-four hours. I've got less than twenty-four hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. I don't trust this guy.
few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it, killer's car was here. Gary, come in. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. 